that close. Gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. He just is the strongest person in the world. Just is. Do they drug test them? No, strongman is full PEDs. Strongman is full, full, full drug up. Yes. Which is exciting. Which is exciting. Ow. Yeah, you get bonus points if you do the most drugs. Mm hmm. Sucks that that fan I got a scythe on me, but whatever. But uh, whatever. Yeah. <coughs> You'd like to see a natural contest? They do have natural contests. They do. Got a natural contest, <clears throat> but not necessarily for strongman. They're like they're like other types of events, but strongman is specifically Your no testing. Your Damn, I couldn't get him into the tower. Your left tower is under attack. Your right tower is under attack. Hmm. It's an interesting position that that Huyi has taken. <laughs> But to be clear, the strongest person in the world does, in fact, take steroids. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a bit of a different contest if you want to see not, but the strongest person in the world is on everything. Is on everything. <laughs> and his name is Mitchell Hooper. <laughs> Freedom! <laughs> That's actually so awkward. Nice. Mm -hmm. In fact, it is the reason why Strongman is not allowed in the Olympics. So, there you go. Not that nobody in the Olympics isn't using PEDs, but... That is why there is no Olympic Strongman. Strongest man in the world is named Mitch. The strongest man in the world is a 28-year-old named Mitchell Hooper from Canada uh, who looks like he's 45 because every strong man looks like they're 45 even though they're 27 because of all of the drugs that they take. <laughs> so. Ain't no way he 28. Yep. Yep, sure is. Yep. Yeah, I may be the jungler, but did I kill the Thanatos with the red buff? Think about it. Uh, Tom Stoltman had Tom Stoltman won this year's world strongest man. Uh, Hooper has won every other event for the past almost two years, and he got second at world strongest man. Um, so no, Tom Stoltman is uh, Tom Tom Stoltman is second or third strongest person in the world. You can argue that Half Thor is stronger than Tom, which I think is fair depending on the events. Your right 
So. What is the difference between world and earth? Uh, the legal, the legal rights. <laughs> <coughs> the, the legal rights to the title is the difference. What's up, Dashi? Some wrestling shenanigans. I mean, it's it's just it's different organizations that run different tournaments. You know what I'm saying? There's an organization that runs World Strongest Man, and then there's an organization that runs Strongest Man on Earth, and those are entirely different organizations. <laughs> What the heck? What in the heck? <laughs> Yeah, a part of a part of the reason, in my opinion, why Mitchell Hooper <laughs> wins these competitions is I genuinely just think that he's smarter than the other strongmen, which I think is just an underrated factor of the sport. Like he's not the biggest guy in terms of height or weight, but he does have like a massive education background, you know, and things like kinesiology and he works like <laughs> partially at a at a facility like surrounded by doctors and I just I just think that he probably has a better understanding of like the science of PEDs right and like the science of recovery and that kind of stuff, which just gives him like a just like a, a an edge over the competition, you know, which is cool, which is cool to see like the sport being pushed in that direction, you know, like for a while it was just like, you know, biggest guy tries to pick up the biggest weights, but like at some point all the other stuff has to come into play. And I actually think that Brian Shaw specifically really pushed the sport forward with that kind of stuff because he took it as a full-time job and super seriously. And so he got the push to boundaries on that kind of stuff. And I kind of see Mitchell Hooper as like his natural like follow up in that regard, trying to like push the sport in regards to like those side things that make a big difference, you know? That guy has the speed. No, he doesn't. What the heck? He's just that fast. What the heck? Right tower is under attack. No, 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 Inca. Not his natural follow-up. His roided follow-up. Well, naturally, as Brian Shaw, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> roided to the teeth, you know what I'm saying? In this case, the natural follow-up being also the roided follow-up. <laughs> Which would then be natural. It would it would be unnatural for somebody to follow up that was natural. Right? Naturally.
What's the general impression of Smite 2? Well, the game is going to be very different for 24-7 than it was for before 24-7. So, <laughs> we're going to have to, you know, vibe out how it feels because I have not played any of, you know, the flash tests or anything. Um, but in my opinion, Smite 2 is leaps and bounds better than Smite 1. Honestly, honestly, man, the biggest problem with Smite 1 is that Smite 1 is a really, really old game that was never meant to last this long, and that's been its problem for so many years. So, Smite 2 being able to redo it for a game, you know, to, like, focus on longevity is just such a W. Such a W. They will fear my power. Your right tower is under attack. <laughs> like, my first, like, <laughs> on my list of, like, top ten problems with Smite, like, probably nine of them are the fact that the game is old <laughs> and, like, on a bad engine. <laughs> you know? So we're talking about like massive fixes able to come through for Smite 2, which is just such a big deal, man. Not to mention, you know, modernizing a Smite in a way that's like good for it. Yeah, nine, nine out of ten problems are that's my old, and the tenth problem is a tank, brother. <laughs> yeah. True. Well, nice Vulcan ult. No way he gets away with that. No way he gets away with that. No! <laughs> Bro, his three, he always heroic. Heroic. <laughs> I gave it to him, though. I wasn't giving it to the new Y after all that. Are you kidding me? Absolutely not. He gets it. You know what I'm saying? New Y did nothing to earn that. Did nothing. Give it to Huncules. Huncules. That sounds like fun. Hasten? Hey, you don't gotta go fast? Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. That was the boulder from the strongman competition? Yeah. That was the 600 pound rock that nobody could lift. Uh huh. The enemy team has destroyed the gold fuel. Your right tower has been destroyed. I'll attack. Your middle tower is under attack. That was a very uh, skinny Hercules to be able to get through that spot. Man's been man's been working out, you know, doing some Pilates. <laughs> oh, Herc is currently off cycle. Okay, okay, got you, got you. Your middle tower is under attack. <laughs> 
<laughs> Your middle tower has been destroyed. To be honest, kind of annoying. <laughs> Enemy missing right. Um, actually, Incon, it's our last week of Smite. It's not just about you. My bad, my bad, my bad. It's our last week of Smite, comrade. America's Meet you at the Gulag, Gulag later. Congrats. Your left tower is under attack. The enemy team has destroyed the defense left lane. Wow. Well, that sucks. Hmm. Well, good try, Vulcan. That was a good new uh, Aegis on your Vulcan ult. I'm going to get a blood for it for the movement speed. I want to go fast. I want to go fast. Friendly banter and team chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody's taking their, you know, final of my game. Super seriously. Super seriously, Kappa. Yeah, so far, so far, everything that we have seen regarding cosmetics in Smite 2 has been extraordinarily generous, so. It has been really generous. Obviously, you don't need to buy any cosmetics if you don't want to, because the game will be free to play eventually, and you can just play and chill. But, like, you get all the god voice packs for free in Smite 2. The Ascension Passes are by far the best cosmetic deal in the history of Smite, and it's not even close. Like, it's not even close. So, like, if you were going to get a cosmetic, you know, the Ascension Passes are a freaking nutty deal. Bro, their team is so thick. This is gross. Speaking of tank teams. Speaking of... Thanks, new one. God. They're literally... <laughs> They've got three tanks, a new one, and an execute. Their comp is actually so meta, it hurts. You know? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, they gotta go for fire, fire? What the? Your soul is Defend mine. the fire giant. <laughs> rise, rise. No! Hey! 
Damn. Well, that's three out of five with the Zonkui dead back there. That's three out of five with the Zonkui. That's three. That's three. That's three. <laughs> that's three. That is three out of five fire giants down. All right. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah. There are, of course, things to be concerned about with Smite too, but of all the dumb things to be worried about, the monetization system of Smite 2 is super up there for me. Super dumb. <laughs> if you want the God Pack, you can buy the Founders Pack and you get access to the Alpha and you get all the gods for forever and bada bing bada boom. Or you can wait for the game to be free to play and bada bing bada boom. Cool beans. Cool beans. Well, he just got body blocked by my own pillar in a way that he didn't, which is a little weird. I love being stunned. I love being stunned. Ding. Ding. There's like, all, there's all. <sighs> so like, this is like such a side thing, but it's on, ooh, it's on queen. This is such a side thing, but it's so indicative of just like. Enemies incoming right. I, how did he possibly get that by the way? Ah! Oh, baby, get mad. Oh, no. It's just so indicative of, like, the tech being better and what you can do with it. But, like, there's some really cool stuff with just, like, tracking in Smite 2. And, like, like the fact that you're getting the customization on, like, your god loading screens or whatever, you know? Like, you'll be able to track how many times you've got a triple chain with Ares and like put that on your like your god tracker or okay <laughs> like custom like you get a rank 10 Ares and so you get a customized loaded in border like little stuff like that you know just gives people like extra reasons to play and extra reasons to grind which helps you know player attention and stuff but like Every god having full-blown customization where you get, like, a special avatar and a border and a tracker and, like, that stuff is super cool, man. That stuff is super cool. And it's, like, such a side thing, you know? Like, it's not going to affect the gameplay at all, you know? But it will definitely help people feel like when they play, it matters more kind of thing. Which is sick. Which is sick.
I mean, if you have legacy gems, <laughs> if you have legacy gems, the ascension passes are like unironically free. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you never played Smite One or whatever, and you don't have them, then like you're gonna have to pay for them. But God, the whale damage is nuts. That's crazy, bro. Alright, uh Yeah, just give me time, but why not? <laughs> it is exactly like yeah. It's the unusual business plan of the first one's not free. Exactly. Uh-huh. Do I wanna go in so bad? I wanna go in so bad. That sucks. Really? Oh, got to back up. One HP from getting hit by nothing, basically, you know? That's nice, dear. Oh my god, mid guardian male holly. To the rescue. I can get this. Yep. Yep. I sure can. <laughs> They mentioned that the play time for rank 10. They mentioned it in the last um, note. I think they said, what's up, Queso? I think they said the first couple of ranks for a god will be faster. And the last couple of ranks for a god will be slower compared to Smite 1. But that overall, it's similar-ish to how long it takes in Smite 1, and then if you buy the Ascension Pass, you also get a 25% Worshipper Booster for that god, which should make it faster to get rank 10 in Smite 2 than in Smite 1 in general, as <coughs> assuming you've bought the Ascension Pass. That is my understanding. The bee take us in life, hopefully. Damn. <laughs> so stupid. 
That's actually 50% of my HP from that new one. Holy. <laughs> Do we know how much the Ascension Passes are going to cost in Legacy Gems? If you have Legacy Gems, they're 450 gems and 450 diamonds. And to be kept in mind that the pricing of diamonds to gems is basically two to one, a.k.a. In Smite 1, $100 buys you 8,000 gems. In Smite 2, 100 bucks will buy you like 16,000 diamonds. So it's the equivalent of 225 Smite gems for the Ascension Pass and then 225 Legacy. Or if you don't have any Legacy gems, it would be the equivalent of buying 450 Smite gems. Yes, you do, in fact, get 450 diamonds for getting the God to rank 10. So if you buy the Ascension Pass and get the God to rank 10, you get your entire purchase value back in diamonds um, if you have Legacy Gems. So if you don't have Legacy Gems, then you get half of the value back. But if you have Legacy Gems, you get 100% of your diamonds back that you spent. Which means that with one purchase of probably, like, you know, ten dollars you can basically get every single god's ascension pass to ten in smite two so <laughs> assuming you have the legacy gems to cover it Has somebody done the math on how much the higher tier packs are worth now? Like, oh, like the the old, uh, like, like the higher tier founders packs and stuff, like the value on them. The big value from the, the highest pack is still just the tier five skin, you know. Attack, fire giant. Because theoretically, the ascension passes the Ascension Passes add a ton of money value if you don't have Legacy Gems. Like, if you were a brand new player to Smite 2, or if you had never spent any money in Smite 1, then they bring you a ton of monetary value. If you are a player that has a ton of Legacy Gems, then the Ascension Passes bring you, like, like I said, like basically $10 of value. Get mad. Get mad and get outplayed. <laughs> it satisfies me. Can you upgrade your Founders Pack on Nexus? I don't think you can upgrade it on Nexus, but they have talked about being able to now upgrade your Founders Pack. At first, you couldn't upgrade your pack at all, but I think you can now? I don't know how, but I'm pretty sure they mentioned that you can. Jordan says they mentioned that you will be able to upgrade, but we don't know how yet. Okay. I would trust Jordan on that. So apparently maybe maybe you can't yet, but you're about to be able to, you know, for the 24-7, but something like that. Something like that. Attack the gold fury. That's an Get wrecked. Oh my god, Zonger Donger get wrecked. Oh, Hercules get wrecked. Well, 
Opa, big o. Now oh, for my no! final request Odin solo with the following build or an eight hero, breastplate, Oni Hunters, Ikhithal, Rage, Deathbringer. Oh god. It's the return of the best random build ever. <laughs> I remember this. Oh my god, we're cleaning up. Oh my god, let's go. That's how you clean up at the end of a match, by the way, dude. That was for Big O. That was for Big O. The return of Crit Odin for Big O's last Smite 1 God request. Gross. Gross, Big O. <laughs> the return. It is in good taste. It is. GG. And our jungle. Let's go. Can we get a shout out to 46k Kumba Solo? That's my guy, dude. That's my guy.